The euro area has certainly faced its fair share of challenges in recent years, but things are clearly improving. In the euro area, the economic recovery has evolved from being fragile and uneven into firming broad-based upswing. And ECB's monetary policy measures have been supporting this recovery. We have established four criteria to confirm a sustained adjustment in the path of inflation consistent with our definition of price stability in the medium term that would warrant a scaling back of the current degree of monetary policy accommodation. First, headline inflation should be on a path to levels below but close to 2% over the meaningful medium term horizon. Second, inflation should be durable and stabilized around these levels with sufficient confidence. Third, inflation will have to be self-sustaining, meaning it will maintain its trajectory even with diminishing support from monetary policy. And finally, I would say obviously the relevant metric in each case is euro area inflation, not the inflation rates of any individual country. However, in order to reap the benefits of our monetary policy measures, other policy areas must contribute much more decisively to strengthening economic growth. And this depends on the policies pursued by member states, where national parliaments, as I said, have a key role to play. But also depends on our collective ability to further strengthen the architecture of economic and monetary union in a way that fully reflects the interdependence among the euro area economies. Pursuing such policies will ensure a higher growth trajectory.